Hi everyone, today we are talking about how simple manifestation really is. Before we get started, if you're new to my channel, my name is Marilise. I make videos on manifestation and the law of assumption, so make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss another video. And also, please like, comment, or share this video. And I want to talk with you guys about how simple manifestation really is and my goal with this channel is always to just bring you the most uncomplicated version of how manifestation really works i want to bring you guys the information without you having to pay a bunch of money for it um i just feel like this information should be available to everybody so let's get it out there Let's talk about how simple manifestation really is today. So I want to break it down in a very uncomplicated way to you guys. We are always manifesting. We are constantly manifesting. It's our nature to manifest. It's what we do. Um, and it's so fucking simple. We're the ones that overcomplicate it. And I know this because I've been doing it for years and years and years. And when it finally clicked, I'm like, holy crap. It's so fucking simple. Stop overcomplicating it for yourself first off, okay? And I made a few notes. So if you see me looking down, that's just what I'm doing. But your subconscious mind is open multiple times throughout the day. So what are you putting into it? If you're manifesting something, you are going to be want to putting in the thoughts that align with what you are manifesting. And when I say that, it's like, what are you fucking thinking all day long? And if you're wanting to say manifest money, you can't be doing money manifestation affirmations and then walking around all day and then basically letting your mind spiral the opposite way. Um acknowledging that you don't have a particular amount of money or that you are lacking in money. You don't want to acknowledge these things. That is how you manifest by consciously putting your mind on the idea of what you are manifesting and throw away the fucking 3D which is uh, the now, basically. It's the now. When you look around, don't relate that to what you are manifesting at this current time. That is not going to be a reflection of what you're doing right now. Yes, there is instant manifestation, but you cannot look around and waver and then try to keep manifesting. It doesn't fucking work that way. I mean, you just have to... Focus. Consciously focus your thoughts throughout the day on what it is that you're manifesting. And how I do it is if I'm like, say, wanting to manifest money, I'm going to consciously throughout the day affirm that I am abundant. I am financially free. Um, I might affirm that I have a certain amount of money in my bank account or in my savings account. I always carry a thousand dollars in my wallet. Those kind of thoughts. Those are the thoughts that are gonna align with the new version of myself that has money. So I'm gonna think as if I have the money now. That's like my, my affirmations, that's how I affirm. I just replace my thoughts. And that's how you can manifest so easy. You're just replacing your thoughts all day long. For me, I try to do it all day long because we're thinking so many fucking thoughts throughout the day. So I try to take advantage of as many thoughts as I can throughout the day. If I can catch myself and affirm for what I want, why not? It's so easy to me. And so I want you to think of your subconscious mind as this 3D printer. This is the easiest way that I've been able to receive the information. Or like break it down in my mind. So your subconscious mind is like this 3D printer, okay? The 3D printer has no fucking opinion. So it does not care 
what it's printing out. It's just like a printer. You can give it anything and it's going to print out whatever you give it. So you have to start thinking of your subconscious mind that way. And the way I think of mine is like, I like tiptoe around that shit. So if I'm having like a fucking moment of where I feel like crap, I'm like, shh, like, no, no, I'm not acknowledging that. I like right at the second where I figure out like what I'm doing or I observe like what I'm doing. I'm starting to spiral or I'm having a shitty day. I'm having a shitty moment. Someone's pissed me off. I'm in traffic. Someone cut me off. The second I acknowledge to myself like what I'm doing, I'm like, turn it off. I'm not acknowledging that. That is not my reality. That's not what I want to continue manifesting. So at that moment, I'm going to like turn it off. I'm like, shh. Don't tell the 3D printer that, basically. That's how I treat my subconscious mind. And if I do have a shitty moment, I revise it with revision. And revision is super awesome. You can just, uh, how I do it is I just affirm the opposite of my shitty thoughts. So if I think like I'm so fat today, if I catch myself thinking that, I'll be like, you are so beautiful. Like, why do you look so beautiful today? Why is your pants fit you so loose? Like things like that. So hopefully you get the basic idea. But that is how I treat my subconscious like a printer and that it's going to print out whatever crap I'm telling it. So I need to put in the things that I want it to print. And it doesn't give a shit. When I found out that like you can literally put anything in, I'm like, what? Because... I guess with like my moral compass, you know, I was brought up um, in a, re you know, not a religious background, but I was brought up going to church and I do believe like, you know, uh, you know, you do good things and you receive good things. I do believe in all of that, but manifestation is so simple. Your subconscious mind doesn't give a shit what the hell you're telling it. You don't have to be saving humanity to manifest a shitload of money you don't need to you don't need to work you can manifest money however the hell you want to and so once you start to understand that and you start treating your subconscious like this you're going to start seeing your manifestations flourish and you're going to start understanding that whatever you're putting into your printer, it's going to print it out regardless, regardless. So if you're telling yourself over and over again that you can't manifest or that you have no money or that the guy or girl that you are in love with um, hates you, uh, doesn't love you, you know, shitty, crappy thoughts that don't align with what you're manifesting, that is what you're going to, your most dominating thoughts are going to be what you print out and so you have to work like do it for me it was doing the work because I was not born into positivity that's just not the way I grew up it was the opposite actually and um I had to really you know discipline my mind um and I and once you realize what what you can do with it you will manifest anything and all you have to do is feed your printer the pictures and the ideas the visions the affirmations however you like to manifest whatever method because we're all doing the same thing with the different ways of manifesting but i want to make one thing clear with affirmations affirmations is like replacing your normal thoughts with the thoughts that you would have if you had your manifestation that's how i think that's how i affirm that's what i give to my printer and that's what i am finding it's printing out and so select what you want to become your reality and realize that your current reality is basically 
I made a little note here on it. Okay, so our current reality is our most dominating thoughts and our current beliefs. So if you change those, you will eventually change your reality as well. It has to. It's the way the law works. It's like gravity. And it doesn't just work for some and it doesn't work for others. If it's not working for you, there's a reason probably why. You might be spiraling. You might be having um, thoughts that are thinking otherwise. You have to work on keeping your mind and check and 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 only telling that fucking printer what you want it to print out don't give that printer a bunch of garbage and when it prints out all the garbage you're like i don't understand no feed your printer the perfect version of what you want and watch what happens and and don't spiral and if you spiral make sure you affirm against your spiral okay you you do the opposite thoughts you think the opposite thoughts you think how great you are you think how much money you have you think how much he loves you you think you think all the good things that you deserve i hope uh i hope this video has helped you in some sort of a way i know it is a little bit long and i hope i didn't ramble on for too long but i Thank you guys for watching. I affirm that all of my videos help you in some sort of a way. And I know this one will help too. And please make sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And for all in my new subscribers, for everyone that has commented and connected, I've gotten emails. I just love you guys so much. I love this community so much. We're the manifestation kings and queens. We're the ones that take control of our lives and we're manifesting the best version of our life. And I love this gang, you guys. I love you guys. And thank you for all of my new subscribers and for all the views. And until the next video.